Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Welcome to my channel. My name is Remy Roy and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple business card in Canva. So this is a tutorial for beginners. So if you are a beginner, Canva is an amazing space for you, especially if you're not a designer. Okay, so I, as far as I'm concerned, Canva is just the design wonderland for the non-designer because you don't have to have any special skills. You don't have to know how to use high-end design software for you to create an amazing design. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple business card, a simple business card, like nothing complicated, simple. And we're going to use the Canva templates. Okay. And this is great for you. If you're just trying to get something off the ground, maybe you're just starting a business or starting like a passion project or a dream that you're getting off the ground and you're looking to create assets for your business, for your dream or whatever it is you're doing, you know, a business card or maybe invoice or maybe a flyer or you know a magazine whatever it is you know you can do all of that in canva and i'm going to show you in this tutorial how to create a simple business card so if you don't have a canva account just go ahead and pause this video and go to canva.com and create an account it's easy you can sign up with your google account and just sign in and when you sign in you you know get this page where you, you know you have the different templates where you can start your design or if you want to do something from scratch, you can use your custom dimensions. So maybe you are looking to create something and you cannot find the exact dimensions that you want right here in Canva. You can use custom dimensions. But for this tutorial, we're going to use a template for a simple business card. Okay. So what you do is when you come into Canva, this is your account and you find all your designs here. If you've done any designs, you're going to find them here. If not, it's going to be blank. But um, when you want to create a design, so you go here. So these are the templates. But if you want more templates, you click on this plus button here. And it gives you all the templates and the different designs and sizes and all of that that you can find in Canva. So you can look around and choose what works best for you. So if you were going to do a social media post, for instance, this is an Instagram post. So you can just click here and edit, you know, put in your image and you're good to go. But today we're doing a business card. So I'm going to scroll down right here and look for the business card. This is business card design. So you're going to click on this. And this is where we're going to do the work. Okay. So this is quite large. So I want to reduce the size a little so it's not too um, imposing. So if you go right here at the bottom right corner of the page, you can see it's 229%. So you can click on the minus button and just bring it down a little. That works for me. So on the left side of the page is where you have um, just the different buttons that helps you to create a design. So the first one here is the layout. So this is where you have the, the templates for the design. So for the business card, these are free templates. You'll find that some templates are not free and Canva would expect you to pay for those. But if you're looking for this, for instance, is not free because it, it doesn't have the free um, sticker right here. So if we you want to create something, I mean, for a beginner, you just want to create something simple and nice and fresh. You can choose one of these templates to work with right here on the left side below the layouts. You have the element. So if you want to add free photos, you want to add a frame for your design. You want to add illustrations, you know, that you can get for free. You can click on there. You want to add lines or shapes, you know, circles, rectangles, triangles, stars, whatever it is, you find them here. The next tab is for text. So, of course, you're going to put some text on your design. So you can just click right here. There are um, templates for the text also. So you can just scroll down and see whatever speaks to you and then, you know, pick it and drag it in and then you can edit it and move things around. You have a background here. So if you want to change the color or the texture or the patterns in the background, you can choose that. And then for here, when you choose uploads, it means you want to use uh, an image of your own. For, so for some of the designs that I have, I've used all of these images in the past. So you can choose, you know, you can import an image from outside of Canva into the space so that you can use that. But for this tutorial, we're going to be using a template. So um, let's just see here. All of these are free and then you can just choose one to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose the first one, Manhattan. It is free. So you click on that. Now, 
when you click on that, it'll open two pages for you. So this is the back, the front design, and then the back design. So you can just click on that and it will open up on the canvas in this space. Now remember, we want also the front and the back design. So for you to get the back design, just go ahead here, and just click add new page, and it will add a blank page here for you. So this is the first page, the front design, and this is the back design. So if you click on here and then click on the back design, it's going to import that for you. So what you have here is the front and the back design. So like I said, it's a simple business card. This is simple enough. It's pretty. You can just change the pictures depending on what you want and edit the, the text. So I'm going to start with the front design. Change this text to whatever it is you want. So I'm going to change it to Silaville. So this is a logo right here. If you don't like this, you can always change it. So I'm going to change this text to Silaville. And then the next, the byline here, which is just really what the business is about. I'm just going to put Creative Studio. So this is Creative Studio and Silaville. So that's the business name. So you would put your business name right here. Now, if you don't like this, like I said, you can always change it. You can delete it. Or you can just drag it out of the canvas. When you drag anything out of the canvas, it's automatically deleted. So I'm just going to go ahead here. And what I want to use as the logo is a wheel. Okay, so if I had this outside of Canva, I would go right here and upload it. But I don't. So I just want to use a free image that I can find on Canva. So I'm going to go right here and type in wheel and search. I'm going to look for a free image of a wheel that I can use. This looks good. I'm going to go ahead and click this because it is free. So I'll click this and you can see the image is large. So to reduce it, just click on the corners of the image and resize it. So bring it down until you know you get to a size that works for you. Okay, so this works for me. And then you, you want to make sure that your elements are centered on the page. You don't want to have something off to the side. So you want to drag that in and make sure it's right in the middle. Because this line is going to show you. You're going to see the line that it's right in the middle. And that works for me. Now, I want to change the color scheme. This is black and blue. It's pretty. It's nice. But I just want to change it to something else. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So when you want to change any part of you know the design just click on that element so i'm going to click right here and then it will show you up here this controls up here it's going to show you the color so this is black so it's, it says pick a color so i'm going to try and just um, pick something simple i like white so i'm going to click white right here and now the background is white so white and blue is good but i want to use orange okay for this blue so i'm going to click right here on the blue part the blue element and i'm going to click right here and look for orange so i don't see any orange that i like right here so i'm going to go here the plus sign i want to add the orange color so i'll click the plus sign and i'll drag the ball all the way to where i can find the orange yeah so this works for me and if for instance you want to use the the code so you can just grab the code here so this is the or the code for the orange and that's it so i'm going to click out here and now i have my orange definitely this text has to change so i'm going to click on here i'm going to select it and right here on the controls at the top of the page i'm going to change that color to orange now this is the orange that i just created for this bar it's going to show up right here so i'm going to click on that and then it changes that to orange i also want my wheel to be orange right now it's brown so remember when you want to change the color of any element just click on that element and above the page you will see the controls so i click on the wheel this is the control and right here it is brown so i'm going to pick a different color and use the same orange so i have black white and orange as my color scheme and i like that so i'm going to go ahead and go to the next page which is still black and blue i'm going to change the text so the text right here, I'm going to put in my name. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to put in my um, job position role, whatever it is. So I'm going to put in creative director. And I'm going to make sure it's centered. I think it's centered right now. 
and then so this is the number i'm just going to leave this number here this came with a template and this is the address i'm going to leave this right here and this is um, the email and the website so what i want to do now is change the colors to the same color scheme that i have right here so i'm going to click on the black um portion and then it'll bring up the controls and i can choose the orange and down here i click on the blue and i can choose the white so you can see that the the text right here which is the number and the address disappeared and that's because the text is white so white and white is just going to disappear so i'm going to go on and click because i know it's here i'm going to go ahead and click right here and select it and change that color to orange and then it shows up the creative director is still blue so i'm going to change that to white awesome so this is my design. It's simple, it's straightforward, it's fresh. I didn't have to pay nobody to do this. And all I will do right now is just export my design so that I can take it to the printer or I can use my printer at home if I want. So if you have a good card stock for your business card, you can just print it at home or you can take it to the printer and get it printed. And that's simple and short, fresh design and you did it yourself, okay? so. When you want to export your design, all you have to do is look up here and click download. So you can print it either as um, an image, a JPEG or a PNG or as a PDF document. So if you're going to print it, uh, you know, with a printer or anyhow, even if you're going to print at home, it's best for you to use the PDF version. So right here, when you click this arrow here, you can either export as a JPEG, a PNG, a PDF standard or print PDF. So print PDF is best. So you click on print PDF and then you want to print all of the pages. Now, if you were going to print it one page at a time, you can do that. All you have to do is just go here and click in the type in the page number. So you have two pages. You can click one and that will download the first page. And when you're ready, you click two and it will download the second page. But because I want to download all of the pages together in one PDF document, I'll click all pages and I'll click the download button. So it's going to prepare your design. And here you go. So this is your design. This is the PDF. So you want to make it larger so you see it clearly. So, so this is your simple business card. So you can just go ahead and print it. I hope this has been very helpful for you. It's very easy, straightforward, and simple. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want any more um, specific tutorials or specific designs that you want to create in Canva, you can let me know and I can do it for you. So just leave a comment on the video or send me an email and I will do that for you. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. I'm going to be doing more designs. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.